Is that super loud? Uh, I mean, I could hear it. All right, I'll mute. That wasn't crazy. Shit, is it Crazy Golf 7s or Crazy Golf? The 7s course, every hole is a par 7. <laughs> I, I think that's what it was, though. I know that because Henry just played it. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me see what I saw. On, it was on YouTube. Like Apex played it. They both have a lot of plays, so I don't know. Let's see. Okay, good. Audio's working. Oh, that's no good. No, it is. All right, guys, what's up? Um, <laughs> Jesus <according> Christ. <laughs> oh, he played the 2.0 one. I'll do that one. <clears throat> what format are we doing? Let's just, just do stroke. Six. Yeah. Okay. Shit, my phone's locking up on me. Uh, just default conditions. Yeah. yeah. All right. I have to restart just, my uh, phone. I'll just leave the difficulty because I'm guessing your difficulties generally masters or whatever. Yeah, whatever we use in the society. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we wow. start? Oh, there we go. Did Join party. No robot match. voice? No, there will be no robot voice. <laughs> It's appreciation, but not for the robot. All right. I had to restart my phone, so we can't quite get started until it... I got everything pulled back up. Welcome, everyone, to... What did you call this? Uh, Central Time Zone Appreciation <laughs> Stream. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Central time zone appreciation. So we brought you all. It is here. the best. We tricked you. We tricked you all into coming to this so we could spread the good news about the central time zone. Look, I grew up in the eastern time zone, and I thought it was the best until. And then, and then I went to Wisconsin, and I was like, "Wait a second, this is so much better." Football starts an hour earlier. The late night shows start an hour earlier. It's great. Mm -hmm. Everything is better. The only no, not everything. College football starting at eleven instead of noon, when you need to tailgate. That's mm. it's an hour of sleep I could get back. I don't watch minor league football, so <laughs> fair. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> So, this course has 18 holes, and we have 18 awards. So, it's going to go pretty much as you would expect. We're going to rattle off all 18 awards right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. And then we're going to play 18 holes of golf. <laughs> yeah, on 420 Crazy Golf version 2.0. Not version 1.0. This is the new and improved 420 crazy golf yes so um <clears throat> all of these awards pretty much all of these awards have unanimous winners for any ones where it's close we'll discuss amongst ourselves why we went with who we went with but do you want to do you want to talk be, about the first should be one pretty obvious are we really uh oh, yeah i guess we can start well it's um, in. yeah so hole number one here, we are going with the Tavern League Iron Man Award. Big one to start with. This is the award for the most Tavern League events played. And it was close. And it, I was actually super shocked by these numbers. But the, the runners-up were Conrad and 
Ben, who played 42 events. And the winner, with 43 events played out of, gosh, I don't know how many, 50 maybe? Something was, like that. Uh, that. Brandon Ruby. would know. It was Ruby. So Ruby is the Tavern League Iron Man. So everybody knows now that if you want to dethrone him next year, you have to play more rounds than him. There you go. Oh, good start by me. This isn't crazy. It gets crazy. Don't worry. This just Look at that like hill. A, that hill is crazy. This just looks like a poorly designed course. <laughs> I hope Ruby's watching. Oh, join me. <laughs> this does count towards round three of oh, the Ryder Cup. This, this is actually great. They're calling for a speech from Ruby, which makes sense. Oh. We'll give the award. The winner will give a speech, and we'll struggle through a hole of uh, 420 wacky goals. There you go. Speech. <laughs> well, I mean, if you haven't played this course, some holes are much quicker than others. Some of them are going to be like two shots, even though they're all par sevens. I think. I'm very disappointed with hole one. Yeah, I agree. It's not crazy enough. All right, well, I'm going to hop I went this. off the green? I didn't even notice that. Before we finish this hole, yeah. I think just to keep things keep things moving, because I don't think we're getting a speech from Jamie. Maybe we should invite him, or uh, Ruby, maybe we should invite him to the voice chat to give his acceptance speech and then kick him out. Is he online? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throw, I'm just throwing out ideas while we're already in it, you know. No, I love that idea. But then I'm oh, gonna... come on, come on in if you want. Get in the hole. Count it. This is a great. Um, oh, dude, for great eagle. Showing. Boom! What a save hit the water. Still eagled it. Yep. Incredible. That feels good. This is going to be good for my handicap. <laughs> All right, the second award. Yes, sir. Is the I would like to have tea and crumpets with that guy award. Solid name. And this um, one's a tough one. Lots of folks to go between. So, you know, I guess you could call it the I'd like to have beer with that guy award or something like that. But it's obviously Conley, right? The the Tavern League mascot, the 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 good old boy <laughs> that that everybody loves and I, I don't mean mascot as an insult either but um, Conley I think you should give a speech because you're the first and probably only ever Tavern League I'd like to have tea and crumpets with that guy award winner <laughs> oh that didn't come back down uh, congratulations to Conley yeah where are we going way up there this is stupid oh that looks good. Oh, this is an ace. Get there. Oh, boy. Come on around. Come on around. Oh, Jesus I thought Christ. Conley was going to make this one. It's coming in. Oh. I thought Conley was coming in, too. We put the, we put the award up there early. Yeah, it was all for you, Conley. This is about to get real good, though. Get in there. Oh. <sighs> He's not uh, sleeping, Cade. He's reading, probably. Did you just miss a putt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Conley. Conley is fashionably late. <laughs> we'll post the awards in the channel yeah if you afterwards. miss it there we go alright Prestige Worldwide takes the lead he would like to thank Brandon for inviting him that's your acceptance speech okay hey. that's, uh... <laughs> wow Brandon, that's very nice Brandon aren't they is... rivals 
Brandon is the head talent scout, so what is this? That's true. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a mini golf? Actually, it's very good for hole number three. It is. Let me let me make a putt here. Uh, but the the award here is the Long, Bo- Long Boy Award, for awarded putt. to the player who sunk the longest putt this season. There was a tie for third place. That, That's impressive. That tie was... Third turn. Oh, shit. Oh, you're in the rocks. That's unfortunate. So there was a tie for third place for longest putt. It was 68.5 feet, and that tie was Cody, the old turn and burn, and uh, Zach. 60 and a half. That was pretty good. Not as good as second place on here at 71.9 feet. And that was Conley. Yeah. So close to winning two in a row. Oh, that's a good one. Come on down. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming around. And. Oh! Oh, Absolute legend. (laughs) This is unfortunate. I think I have to hit a... Oh, I can't. I have to putt it? Oh, no. I think I have to uh, splash this. I think you got to hit your driver. And the longest putt of the season... <laughs> well, it's in the stands. Uh, goes Sorry, to, yeah. Longest putt. Goes to Ben. 72.5 feet. He is the Long Boy Award winner for putting. And then the next award is the Long Boy Award for Holding Out. And we'll go over that soon. That's a hell of a shot from the stands. This hole should have been a little easier than that. Yeah, 72.5 feet for Ben. Yeah, that's a long... I'm surprised we have so many at, like, 70 feet. That's amazing. Before I even pulled it up, I thought the longest putt was going to be like maybe 60, and then there'd be a bunch in like the 40s. But, and there was more than those four above 62. It's crazy. Uh, I'd like to back up, and Conley did make a little bit of a speech thanks to the admin team, but then he included Zach, and I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, Zach's. That guy doesn't have a single admin bone in his body. No, he's like, oh, here's a survey, guys. Go do my job. Whoa. Yeah. Home run swing. That's what I was going for, baby. Off the building. Yep. <laughs> oh, that could be unfortunate. Um, that's uh, we were... This was the Long Boy Award. Yes, the Long Boy Award for holing out. The third place distance is Cade with 191.1 yards. Oh, jeez. Fuck this hole. <laughs> uh, Wait, sec- I was out of bounds? So was I. Oh. Oh, try that building. There you go. There we go. That's better. <laughs> uh, second place was, oh, myself. 202.9 yards. That's a great shot by oh, me. Oh, wow, yeah. One of, here we go. Hear, did you just hear my wife laugh from the other room? <laughs> yes. She, she, was la- she was laughing at you. At me? Yeah. Why? Because I'm so good at the long boy? Mm-hmm. No, I don't know what she was laughing at, but it was yeah. right after you said something. And yeah. the, lo- the longest boy of them all, uh, 206 yards. He is the first two-time award winner of the uh, Tavern League Season 1 Awards ceremony, and that is Ruby. Ruby. Speech. Oh, Jesus Christ. Speech. Oh, come on. Oh, that's going to bounce. Oh, come on, man. This is going to hurt. <laughs> there you go. Smart. Oh, yeah, right down the middle. <laughs> oh, just piped it. Please, yeah. I'd like to see someone not fast forward this. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. This is my first uh, stupid halt, of course, that I've played. 
Yeah, me, t- me too. It's kind of fun. It works. Yeah, Ruby, this is embarrassing. Do we strip him of his award? No. I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you are finishing up hole number four here, the fifth hole is the John Daly Grip It and Rip It Award. This is obviously awarded to the longest drive of the season. Can I? And Ruby had a chance at this one. Spoiler oh, alert. Oh, yeah. Uh, the difference between the winner and the loser was 0.1 yards, which is pretty fantastic. <laughs> or not loser, but first and second place. My, no, my loser. My grandfather had a VHS tape called John Daly's Grip It and Rip It. And I used Ooh. to watch it when I'd go over there. <laughs> Just because the, I just love the idea of this like big, powerful, fat guy that can knock the shit out of a golf ball, you know. I just I uh, think most people like that. Yeah, that's kind of boring. Uh, so yeah, four hundred thirteen point three yards for Ruby, and oh, Ruby, he is on the YouTube. Great speech. This is quite the pleasure. Uh, you're welcome. He's high. I don't like this all. I don't like this all. Uh, so yeah, four thirteen point three. The winners were four thirteen point four, and it's a tie. Yes. I couldn't see the putt, so that didn't. It's bullshit. Uh, so yeah, four hundred thirteen point four yards. We have Zach. And your boy Scott. Oh, you just love giving his first award. Awards. Yep. Well, you were putting. So, unfortunately, <laughs> nice putt. <laughs> I have to. I'm just so excited about the award. Um, unfortunately, I have to share it with Zach. I don't know if it even counts. Maybe you guys should have a tiebreaker. What the f- fuck is going on okay oh, there we go next right. award oh this is a good award and it's i think yeah, it's, this is a nice one i think it's very obvious who's who it's going to go to or not actually it's probably not obvious who it's going to go to it's the most improved player award and this one this one goes on feel we don't have like data to back it up correct um, so who we needs don't, data like all the stats are there, but we're not going to break that shit down event by event to to figure out who is the most improved. Um, so we went with our gut, and the most improved player is Ben because he, <laughs> in the beginning, yeah. he was beating us by six strokes, and now he's beating us by ten. So Ben is the most improved player. Congratulations to Ben. That's not what he needed. Uh, That's not true. Obviously, that's not true. Come on. (laughs) Uh, No, we we have a tie. Yeah, we're going to call it a tie. Get in. Oh, Oh, get in. Come on. Get Get in. Get in there. Get in. Oh, (laughs) that's a good shot, though. Uh, Yeah, so we have a tie. The award goes to two people because it's a tie that's Matt and Cade come on down most improved oh you gotta get to that (laughs) yeah Matt Matt and Cade is obvious Um, I mean Cade came in hot and I I wasn't sure he was gonna keep playing you know I will say this about Cade he seemed to get very frustrated I I don't want to I don't want to tell the world all of his secrets, but I did receive some messages from Cade early on where he was at his wits end and ready to give up. And I said to him, I'm not taking credit for his improvements, but what I said to him is, yeah, dude, I get it. You could quit if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game sucks. But the point is he was very, he was very frustrated with it, but, Oh my god! <laughs> but he stuck with it. Stuck with it. And look and at so him did now. Matt. 
Both, both. I mean, they're gonna. We're gonna talk about them later when we discuss hole in ones. But both of them had a hole in one in season one. That's insane. It's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Insane. He's probably not here. But this next award, oh boy, um, is gonna. This award goes to the member who best used Tavern League's success for their own agenda. It's called the <laughs> Traitor Award. And um, if he's in the chat, we'd like to hear an acceptance speech. But it is uh, Cavern League founder, Dr. Bob Kelso. <laughs> Traitor. Traitor. And you know leader. what? It wasn't going to work. Tavern League is too strong. Um, we have too many policies in place that are not going to allow this to work. And so, nice attempt at the Cavern League, but that thing is dead. Oh, dude. And it's like such an, it was such an embarrassing failure, too. Like, mm-hmm. just, you almost never had bad. a chance. You almost feel bad for the guy. There he is. He was, he was so excited. <laughs> 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 if I was going to say anything about Cavern League, it was a it was a good attempt at a coup, but I think I think what the the trade got a lot of members. I mean, Cavern yeah. League truly is the the first Tavern League inside joke that doesn't involve like shit talking Rob. Right? Rob has been the ca- the Tavern League inside joke for like a year and a half. So it's a true inside joke, yeah. Yeah, so if anything, Henry does get uh, credit for creating the, the Tavern League meme, so to speak. It speaks to how great the Tavern League is if you need a competing league. Oh, yeah. You get away. What is that saying? But it was just, it was, it was a failure because there was no organization. Nobody knew what the Cavern League stood for. Yeah, what does it stand for? Caves? Yeah. Caves? <laughs> I mean, what? Do you, who believes in caves? Yeah, stupid. <laughs> oh, Ben's watching. Oh. Hey, Ben. Oh, Rob. I don't think. Uh, spoiler alert. I don't think Rob won an award. No, um, we're, we're past Bob. We're past Rob at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're in the eighth hole, and I'm one stroke up. This is a 900 foot drop. What the hell? All right, the next award is the Mr. Precision Award. And uh, this is for best fairways in greens and regulation. We kind of just took an an aggregate. And I'm going to say there's two winners here because the true, the, the person who finished in first place joined late and played far less holes. That's um, true. And that was Taylor. His oh, fairway, sh- his fairways. Oh my god, his fairways in regulation was seventy-seven percent, and his green in regulation was eighty-two percent, which is actually insane. But what's more insane is in second place, Ben, who played over a thousand holes, had seventy-two percent fairways in regulation and seventy-eight greens in regulation, <laughs> which for the amount of holes, seventy-eight percent. For the Oof. amount for the amount of holes played, it wasn't even close. The next person wasn't even close. I don't even know what to hit here. I mean, I hit a driver. I don't think that pitch is gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh God. That's oh. gonna make it tough. Oh, that's oh. OB. All right. Wait, what is this? I... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think. I'm just going to hit driver again. So congratulations. Yeah, Ben with an award. Just what he needed. Well, and Taylor. Don't forget Taylor. It can't be understated. Taylor's performance can't be understated here. But this just is... the, the sheer volume of holes played by Ben was mind-blowing. I mean, this is just not good. All right, do we skip this hole? <laughs> No, I'm hitting the fairway. This is ridiculous. Oh, God. I'm not this bad. All right, then the next award, there's a lot There's a lot to talk right. about. So the next award, skip. I don't like the name of this award. I had a, like, joke in mind when I wrote it, but it just, no, well, I want to try. 
Well, I'm going to I'm going to skip. Okay. It's the I've got better shit to do award, uh, which is, you know, we just want to take a moment to to mention everyone who got a hole in one um, and then crown, you know, the best hole in one of the season. And there's somewhat of a tie. Actually, no, we wanted to crown the best hole in one of the season and, and also yeah. the worst. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we had, well, yeah, you, you try to hit this fairway. We had three honorable mentions. So congrats to the hole in ones by Cade, which we already mentioned. Uh, Jason, who is, nope, that's out of bounds. Wait, uh, why? <laughs> I thought that was. Good I've shot. hit there twelve times. <laughs> uh, that was not a hole in one there. Uh, and Ruby, who gets another mention. Wow. Amazing. Nope, that's Ob. Nope, nope. Oh, it's trying to bang a shot. Uh, this is not good. I mean, who would who does that? this? Is so unrealistic. It is unrealistic. I will like, give you that. Show, show me a golf course in real life that looks like this. I mean, come on. It'd be really frustrating to have to hit. Oh, that's money. See if your ball went OB and then have to walk back to the tee box. I mean. <laughs> All right. It might be time to skip this one. <laughs> it won't let me. It won't let me skip. Oh, because I have to drop it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is kind of an intermission because we, we, can't, we can't get too ahead of ourselves here. There we go. All right, we tied. Good, good hole. That was an ad break. What are we sponsored by today, Jason? Sponsors? Yeah, what are we sponsored by? Uh, I don't know. Audible? Culver's. Culver's. <laughs> oh, Culver's. Good old Wisconsin Butterburgers. The first, I mean, I remember the first time I ever went to a Culver's. It was in Wisconsin Dells. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was in Appleton. Appleton, Wisconsin. Even better. And then we ate some cheeseburgers. And then we went, we, oh, and then we went to uh, Harry Houdini's house. Ah. And I uh, I'd like. Oh, am I done telling a story? No, no, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what did you buy? What, what did you buy? Nothing? I bought my first magic, uh, my first magic set. My magic oh. kit. Cool. And I, you know, I'm still, cool, a cool. still a magician to this day. Wow. We learn new things at the award show. I'm uh, just a hot take: Culver's better than In and Out. Just gonna say yes. it. Oh, that's. I mean, I've hit, I've hit ten straight shots out of bounds. I believe. Culver. Okay, so Culver's cheese curds aren't that good. No, they're I, not. I like if they're the only cheese curds you've ever had. Yes, they're they're good and they are a good representation right. of what a cheese curd is. But if you ever have cheese curd options. You're you're likely not going to choose Culver's. They're fine. Yeah. But that frozen custard, oof. Uh, so the I've got better shit to do award. Um, I feel like you should announce this one. Wait, we didn't. I thought you already said it. Oh, I did the honorable mention. I didn't get to the end. Oh, got it. So wait, the... what? Hold on. Conley's never heard of a cheese curd. Well, yeah. Oh, we lives... have some education. He he lives in outer space. Have that of you? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we do our real life golf trip, I'll we'll do some cheese curds. Okay, so the most important hole in one goes to Matt because it it won the contest and it, and it was very unexpected. Um. So Matt's got the coolest hole in one of the year. The worst hole in one of the year was uh, Scott because he got a hole in one like 
what less than 24 hours after we announced the contest the mm-hmm. ad- admin gets a hole in one so scott gets the honorable mention which is the most amount of fun ever ruined by an ace award <laughs> <laughs> but i the story goes i hit the hole in one my jaw kind of dropped and i went straight to text jason and brandon and i went uh shit i think i hit a hole in one <laughs> <laughs> And it was my first one in the game. The next two, uh, the next award. Are we there? Yeah, we finally finished the front nine. That took a while, thanks to the last two holes. Is the uh, the lurker of the year, which is very obviously Cody. But we always have lurkers. There's G Man. There's uh, you know Rooster was a bit of a lurker, but Cody was the king lurker because like I don't think any of us had ever spoken to him but he would he would pop in and he would like heart an announcement or something and then <laughs> at, at least in the admin channels we're all like oh yeah that turn and burn guy like he's around cool um, showed up yeah and then uh, now of course you know he, he's he's out he's out in the open and uh Bearing, yeah, and let's be bearing let's be soul. honest. Yeah, he won this award because it went from absolutely nothing to. I mean, I don't even know how to describe what happened. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations to Cody. Mm-hmm. We should have won more in the Ryder Cup, fellow Michigander. Yeah, that's right. All right. Hole 11. So this is the Homer Simpson backing into a bush award, a favorite gif around here. Uh, And this was, is this the hardest one? This this was the hardest one, but it's also, it's also my favorite one because there's, oh shit, Brandon's here. Brandon's here? Good timing. here. Yeah. Special I guest Brandon. Oh, I told one of my I, favorite awards right now. <laughs> I told him I was going to play Stone Cold's music when he showed up unexpectedly, but I totally forgot <laughs> about that. So somebody smash a glass and then. <laughs> um, welcome, Brandon. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. I've been listening. Quite the show. <laughs> Uh, We're working this, on it. It's the Homer Simpson backing into a Bush Award. So there's there's three contenders here, and I think we're gonna do this like Oscar style, where we we go over the nominees, <laughs> and then we'll declare the winner, so everybody can then be like, "Wow, oh, so and so got robbed." Um, Which is the, probably a legit comment. Somebody got robbed here for sure. Yeah, the first nominee. It, for the Homer Simpson backing into a Bush Award is Brandon uh, for the the Cade dead dog situation. Uh, so that was Cade joined, made his his profile picture the dog, um, as and, per tradition. And Brandon said, "Your dog looks stoned." I believe was the actual comment. No, I think I think he I said he looked like he was in a seductive pose. Oh, okay, maybe it was that. <laughs> and either way, a weird comment. Either way, inconsequential to the story. Yeah, yeah. So Brandon said, "Like your dog looks like he wants to, you know, suck <laughs> suck my dick." <laughs> and and then uh, and then <laughs> that would have been that would have been a strong <laughs> introduction to the tavern lake. <laughs> and then Cade said. Oh, that was right before we put him down. And, like, the air sucked out of the room. The admin channel exploded. DMs exploded. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Like, like, five people messaging me. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> what do you do now? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Silenced. Brandon. I starts... wish we would have saved that chat. Did Jason, did you save it? I, pro- I thought I mean, you I, did at one point. I probably took a screenshot of it. I take screenshots of everything. <laughs> Because I don't think anybody knew what to say at that point. No, and I, I could just see, I could just feel Brandon like pounding away at his keyboard, like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." 
Um, yeah. I was typing up quite a speech to him. I was the, going to relate to him that my dog had just put, been put down. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't <laughs> get to that point. But, oh, yeah, because then he could have flipped Ugh. it on. The second yeah. nominee is... Well, so we didn't finish it. Oh? For those who don't know. Cade was joking. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. He was joking. <laughs> and so the it's great for two reasons. Brandon walking into the wall... But two, nobody knowing who Cade was and him pulling off this incredible intro. Yeah. So. Like your your first, so so that's nominee one. Uh, yep. Nominee two is, he's no longer with us, but we can't not mention this. It's Big Mike. Uh, Big he's, Mike. He's the second nominee for the Homer Simpson backing into a Bush Award because he was clearly a kid. <laughs> He clearly didn't fit in because he was crispy and we're not crispy. And he was just a goofy kid that referred to himself as Big Mike. And <laughs> that came out a little bit after. Let's be honest. He introed a couple days later, he came in hot with Who Wants to Play with Big Mike? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember DMing you guys and being like, Big Mike? Is that what we're going with? No. I feel like we were all rooting for him from the start, and then he dropped the Big Mike line. and Yeah, we're like, um, lost, lost maybe not. A little bit. So, I think so, this is going in, by the way. So Big Mike says that he's an intern for ESPN because he's, he's got a keen, a keen ear, right? We're all talking oh. sports, so he's like, these guys like sports. Uh, so he says he works from ESPN, and uh, Conrad is like, oh, are you in Bristol? Because that's where ESPN headquarters are. And then Mike says... Pretty common knowledge, by the way. Especially if you work there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and then the poor kid says, uh, what is Bristol? I know that's a city in England, which he definitely Googled because I, I wanted to be like, I bet he Googled that. So I Googled Bristol, and the first thing that pops up is <laughs> city in England. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's the second. And then the third nominee is Cody. You know, he, he to go from Lurker of the Year to potentially also, like, the award that will make him become a Lurker again was the boner while pooping conversation that we, you know, just had. He bared his soul to all of us, and it was crickets. Nobody was like, yeah, man, me too. Or, or like, yeah, that's happened to me too. It was just like, yeah, <laughs> I get a boner when I poop. And nobody said anything. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> oh, That was great. So those are the three nominees. The dead dog situation. I'll tell you, all three seem like legitimately they could be the winner. Yeah, definitely. Great but, options. Uh, so the dead dog situation, what is Bristol and boner while pooping are the nominees. And, uh, the winner is, is we're going to go with big Mike because he'll, he'll never have an opportunity to win another tavern league award. And that moment was so funny that we still joke about to this day. So big Mike is the. Homer's and and he also gets the award because he backed into the bush and he never fucked and he never fucking came out. He's he gone. literally backed into the bush. <laughs> and disappeared. The most accurate. <laughs> and and Cody Cody, you know, both situations were great, but he 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 took the meme, you know. He he actually did the meme. He never came out. <laughs> I hit that telephone pole. Oh man. man. Oh, nice shot. Impressive. Um, all right, so the next award is the Tavern League Villain Award. Uh, this is awarded to the member involved in the most rivalries. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty recent, I feel like. I don't, I, I don't know what happened well, to this guy. Okay, He's okay. really on a... So it's been talked about a lot recently. Uh, but I've thought this motherfucker was a cyber bully from day one. I've just, he's just constantly on, on everyone's ass being the biggest dick in the whole world. <laughs> Everybody hates him. Uh, um, yeah. If you haven't figured it out by now, uh, the winner of the villain award is, uh, our own Brandon. Congratulations. Brandon. 
I'll just say this. I don't I don't think there's a single rivalry that I started. I just don't back down. And so I accrue them each and every rivalry. Don't people start them with Don't me. even. I don't know about that. I get cyber bullied and I stand up for myself. Oh, so God. if you want to call it what did I ever do? Yeah, what did I ever do? Yeah, what did I ever do? <laughs> you guys did plenty. What? I make <laughs> I make channels when a conversation about sports <laughs> takes off? Well, fucking sorry to offend you, Brandon. <laughs> uh, I was more uh, thinking about the others, but... Uh, and the, uh, I believe he has rivalries with Zach, obviously. Uh, Cade, Conley, Jason, myself... Uh, wasn't there somebody new today that he started a rivalry with? I mean, I said anyone from the Cavern League, but that's a given. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, good point by Zach. This is We already had the award when this happened, I believe. Um, but he he did have a beef with the biggest name in, in golf club history. So That's yeah. true. But that you're was awesome. Cool. But you're on our team, so. Yeah, we all supported you in that. That was fantastic. Um, and the opposite of the villain, you know, like the nicest possible guy around award, I think is pretty clear. It goes to our neighbor to the north, Mr. Jamie, Mr. Canada. Like The only one Brandon is not in an active feud with. Yeah, because how, how can you be? How can Conrad, you be? too. Too, I said. Conrad was probably the runner-up to this award, but definitely Jamie. Yeah. Definitely oh, Jamie. Jamie gets the not Brandon award. <laughs> Always a good good thing. Oh jeez. Jamie stepped it up on Ryder Cup. I keep saying it, but man. I think if if we, we could have had that Ryder Cup. If it wasn't for Jamie. Yeah, he did. Oh, let me hit the shot here. We'll just knock this in. Uh, so hole 14, I am losing very badly now. No, you're not. Oh, maybe, maybe only a straw. I caught up. Oh, boy. This is not good. We're going to be okay. Uh, so we just did the nice guy award while you try to figure out this one. Uh, the next award is Tavern League's most loyal member. So in a similar vein. It's like the opposite of somebody who would start a rivalry society. <laughs> <laughs> and and there were there were some things that went on behind closed doors that we're not going to talk about that sort of feeds, you know, why this guy is the most loyal guy, but he like legitimately reaches out to help us with stuff and is just always like I don't know. And stuck around a... when it was shitty, like yeah, yeah. You know, we we weren't always this fun. We had some bad. <laughs> we had some we bad. had months at a time with only yeah. one chat, you know. Yeah, but like yeah, he's been around forever. He's offered to chip in for prizes, which we're not going to take him up on that. But he's offered, and he's just here for the long haul. And that is Conrad. Dude is like the glue that keeps it all together. If I was to put one shot on Conrad, uh, not the best liar. No, I hate his accent too. <laughs> hate the way he talks. Absolutely hate it. I love it among us when he comes in. He's like, oh, it wasn't me. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually hate the way he talks either, by the way. <laughs> what the hell I is this? See, this I is like a like, normal hole. I say Cade's accent makes him sound guilty. Conrad's accent makes him sound very genuine at all times. <laughs> all right, that's fair. The we have next, a tie ball game right now. The next award is also a tie ball game. This was really difficult for us because we, like, we seriously, all three people up for this award, we can't say enough things about. We think that, like, we couldn't decide. So all the nominees for this next award won. It's the admin of the year award. 
and that's going to go to Scott, me, and Brandon. We just couldn't think of any anyone better, and we're all tied as the best, so we are that's the Adams of the year. <laughs> well earned. Well, well, well earned. <laughs> Congratulations to us. Yeah, we really... Really, you congrats really... to Jason for coming back and oh, was... just rocking out the organization of this thing. I was totally oh, absent sure. in the Rob days for sure. I don't think you guys understand how freaking awful Rob was and how much I despised his existence. Like, I didn't no, even I... show up. I wasn't around. I I'd pop in every once in a while and be like, guys, I'm going to start playing the game again, I swear. And then, like, six months later, hey, I swear I'm going to start playing again. <laughs> and then this Rob would come I in and start bridging. to bring Zach in. I was like, guys, there's another guy I know I want to bring in. I swear he's not Rob. Oh, yeah. His that name was Zach. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> he's no he's all right. All right. Um, oh, we got a little... Well, ad- yeah, I you, skipped you one. You skipped one, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh we have the king of beer and meat. So if you don't know and you're watching this, I assume you do, but there is a beer and meat channel that has come and gone. I feel like don't it was post, strong at the start. Don't ever post a picture of vodka in it or you'll get your fucking ass chewed out, by the apparently. way. Apparently. It was much more alcohol heavy early on. Yeah. It was a lot more about the beers. But this guy who's going to win this award, um, oh, come on. Uh, he basically owns the channel now. So, I mean, I, I'm never going to post anything because it's embarrassing compared to what this guy posts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. hole in one. I'm, I'm just going to start posting, like, total opposite shit. Like, here's a cheeseburger from Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Kate. Here's a Kraft right? mac and cheese. Here you go. Uh, yes, Kate is our winner. The king, the king of, of beer and meat. That's a big reputation to live up to. We want to give you this award every year, so don't let somebody take over, Cade. He posts meat that I'm so unfamiliar with that I don't know whether <laughs> it's like a good picture of it or not because I've never seen duck wings. Or... That's a really good point. Like things that he posts, but I just trust they're good, solid pictures. <laughs> well, well, now that I know good. that you're easy to impress, <laughs> I'm gonna like. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna start know. posting like the sirloin steak I buy at Jewel. <laughs> Be like, oh, look at this. Louisiana guy posts gumbo. I assume it's good gumbo. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but... That's a good point. <laughs> it's like if Jamie posted a picture of poutine. Yeah. I'd be like, mm, probably good. Montreal people and your your fries. <laughs> 17th hole. We have two awards left. All right, the two biggest awards. It's sad we're coming down to the end. All right, the <coughs> sorry, the Tavern League MVP award. This goes, you know, this is like a sports award. I don't, <coughs> I don't know if you've ever watched sports before, but they always give an award to the guy who plays good. Oh, that's unfortunate. And it's very obvious that Ben is the Tavern League MVP. The dude is fucking lights out, won every major, wins every tournament that's more than a round, except for a couple. Um, His stats, like going through the stats, we were going to do, you know, awards for more stat categories, but, and this isn't a, this, it's just Ben. This whole show would have been about Ben. So Ben is clearly the MVP. He's the best we got. Um, there are some challengers in, in Taylor and uh, I don't remember his name, the new guy with the <laughs> with the new name. The new guy. What's his name? Help somebody help me. That... Um... <laughs> Zach, tell us in chat. He knows him. I'm sorry. I know um, he doesn't. Steve. He does... Steve. Steve. I knew Steve. He, didn't, he didn't have his real name. I knew that much. I knew it wasn't Scott. 
Steve, yes. So there'll be some competition up there, but Ben is the Tavern League MVP, uh, a crown that I don't foresee him losing ever. But we'll see. Not, I, don't, you know, I don't think he gets enough credit for winning all four majors. I mean, you don't? I don't. <laughs> No, yeah, I think maybe no. you're right. It's just like a given that he's going to win. I, I don't like feel like we've that. we've talked about it enough. Yeah, I think we are a little desensitized to um how good he actually is. But this game's fucking hard, and uh, he's so consistently good at it. And he's nice while he does it. Yeah, I know we've talked about we this, but like, that, you know, Rob, not to bring him up again, he was such a villain because nobody liked him as he was beating us all. Ben right. is so likable. He's so nice. And so you can't you can't dislike him while he kicks all of our asses. No. Yeah, I'm usually like, God damn it, Ben again. But <laughs> so, then I'm like, yeah, whatever. Good for him. Like offering <laughs> help on the message boards and yeah. wanting to play with people to help him get better. What a dick. <laughs> I mean that was a epic Meltdown on TGC by Rob. Yep. Oh boy! Oh yeah, right. We're on a beat. This is yes. this is not clutch for you, Jason. We're tied going into this hole. Well, we have one more award. We've made it. The well, last here. award. I can't hit it up there. Can I? Even with a good like, pitching wedge. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty dumb but this is more fun than playing a real course uh, our last award is the bromance of the year <laughs> this is the final award this is what you guys say for the end yeah this is, well, this we is were, here's what I was thinking award. Like the Ruby MVP the would year. usually MVP would be the award right but we all knew who was going to win that so this is a little more fun. Oh, yeah. Wow. Clutch right. chip. The nominees are... Well, one of these nominees, they haven't been they haven't been active as a couple as much. Uh, but in the beginning of season one, their, uh, their relationship was rekindled. And they are like the OG Tavern League couple. Uh, and that's Moose and Apache. Those dudes like, oh Apache! I mean, that, that Apache's got Moose's back. Moose has Apache's back. They that they would have won original... Romance of the Year every year for all of TGC nineteen easily. <laughs> so they're not winning this year, but we, oh, yeah, Apache we would, has left us. We would be remiss not to mention it. Um, the... Uh, the yeah, what else do we have here? Oh, Go for yeah. It. Well, the second nominee, Zach and Brandon. So, As it I'm, says here, uh, just get a room already. Just get a fucking room already, <laughs> you guys. Like it's a we, real love-hate yeah, relationship. Oh, yeah. Like, ooh, we're, we're, we hate each other. We're, we we're, hate each other. We're, <laughs> we're a big rivalry. Like, no, you're not. Just just make out already and spare us. Spare us. It's a real will, will they or won't they situation. <laughs> it's a real it's, Ross and Rachel situation. No, it's yeah, I guess it is because it's like just do it already, my God. Quit being an idiot, yeah. Pam. Quit being an idiot, Pam. Quit being I fucking... also want to say one that didn't make the cut is a uh, a real low key under the radar bromance that is you and Henry. I feel like that should have been a nominee. Well, why do you, you guys really it? keep it quiet? I I don't know. I just thought of this as I was looking at the nominees, but you guys you guys keep it quiet. But it's yeah, a, like... it is a true bromance. I mean, yeah, I like Henry. Yeah, what? So so what? I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Even after all he's done to kill the tavern league. Yeah, I mean Henry. I mean I DM'd Henry. I mean today. that's a Romeo and I, Juliet situation right um, there. He I is. I DM'd Henry today to let him know that we picked a book in the book club. I was like, hey, we picked a book. <laughs> that was nice of you. <laughs> and then uh, said, the last. And then he said, "Ooh, goody! I've been wanting to read that one." And I said, "Me too." <laughs> 
I mean, that sounds about right, given the book that you picked. Yeah. <laughs> We're all very excited about the book. The third nominee uh, and the winner. Yeah. We'll just say it's the winner, right? Wow. Yeah. Sorry, other two. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay go for it it is Cade and Ruby and the reason they won is because in a in a in a team competition where you had an opportunity to pick one of the best players in the league Ruby selected Cade first overall <laughs> I mean that is a bond stronger than anything bigger than all of us you know um <laughs> feels like a hard insult on Kate as you explained it. <laughs> well, no. I, I mean, I, I mean, let's, I don't think that's an insult. Who's better? Who's better? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Taylor or Cade? Sorry, Cade. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just like to point out, I, I looked back at the chat, um, and my response to the pick was, did Cade just get picked in the first round? Um, no offense. Kate. <laughs> so, so that's it. Go. We did it. We'll post this. We'll post this in the chat too. We just have to clean it up because there's a bunch of notes on it. Yeah, but thanks everyone for a great season one. This yeah. is awesome. This has definitely been the most fun season of Tavern League we've had. A thousand percent. The cast of characters is great. For sure. It's only going to get better, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, God. with that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, as I'm looking at these people in the chat, I'm just going to go ahead and take credit for recruiting most of these guys. So. You've done the legwork. Edmund for of sure. the year? Maybe it should have been Brandon. <laughs> Poss- possibly. <laughs> I mean, I did make a post on the 2K forums. I remember. You did. That was um, and you posted something in announcements because me and Brandon were both busy. <laughs> I scheduled a couple yeah, events. That was big. That actually probably earned him. How did I win admin of the year? I did jack <laughs> shit. <laughs> Brandon was you... doing the weekly recaps. Jason was doing the weekly previews. I was just like, yeah, Zach, you guys got this. Good job. I'm fine. Zach not winning was enough for me. That's fair. But even acknowledging him as a nominee would have... That would have been Brandon that posted the Reddit post, Cade. Brandon. So I I used to be the one to do that. And that's how I got Brandon. And then uh, when I started losing interest, Brandon took over. And he sort of took over that role. And then Brandon started losing interest and Scott took over. And now <laughs> yeah. all three of us are doing it together. Yeah, the only reason this thing's alive is because I did a season when you guys all bailed. That's that's what happened here. I mean, Although, was... as I'm seeing, everybody came in on Reddit, so the Reddit, um, whatever the subreddit for 2K, told me that I'm one post away from being banned if I talk about the Tavern League again. So if anyone else wants to take over, <laughs> they, said, they said I'm spamming, even though I posted like once every three months. Yeah, like they have a rule you can only post one time. (laughs) You're you're saying the restaurant has a rule? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. If anyone else Uh, wants to promote the Tavern League on Reddit, go for it. I can't. Anybody can do that. Uh, Great. Great job, everyone. Indeed. Can you hear me clapping? (laughs) all right well it was fun we'll do it again after this season is over unless everyone rage quits before then (laughs) never we're too excited about this season so excited i didn't (laughs) all right i'm killing the stream right now